Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Tuskegee Airman. I'm going to take three fingers at the top in the middle and put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a circle. And underneath I'm going to put on the left hand side one straight line going down on the left, one straight line going down on the right, come back to the left, draw a curved line over, connect. Right in the middle I'm going to draw another baby circle and underneath that I'm going to draw straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal down on the right, but I'm going to leave it open. I come back to the right hand side and I draw a straight diagonal down, straight line up, connect on the right, straight diagonal down, straight line up, connect on the left. Inside, I'm going to draw one baby circle on the left, one baby circle on the right. I come back to the left, and I'm going to draw a curved line all the way down and off the page. And on the right hand side, I'm going to draw another curved line down off the page. I come in right about here, and I draw a straight line down off the page on the left and a straight line down off the page on the right. I come back to the left. I'm going to draw a curved line in, curved line down, connect, and on the right hand side I'm going to draw <clears throat> a curved line in, curved line down, connect. I draw one, two, three baby circles on the left, one, two, three baby circles on the right. I'm going to come back in and I'm going to draw straight line connect on the left, straight line connect on the right, and now inside this space I'm going to draw curved lines all the way up, connect. I come back up to the top and on the very tippy tippy top I'm going to draw a rectangle <clears throat> and from that rectangle I'm going to draw an oval to the left come back up to the rectangle an oval to the right come all the way up to the top of the oval and draw another curved line connect on the left another curved line connect on the right I come back down to the left and I'm going to draw a curved line down, connect on the left, come on the right hand side, a curved line down, connect on the right. I come back to the left and I'm going to draw a little curved line out and connect and I'm going to draw one, two, three baby triangles. I come on the right hand side, I'm going to draw a little curved line out and connect and one, two, three baby triangles. I come back over to the left and I draw a curved line down, curved line up, connect on the left and over here on the right I draw a skinny curved line down, up, connect and I'm going to add one two little baby triangles. Now I come inside my circle and I'm going to draw one curved line on the left, one curved line on the right. I'm going to come down and I'm going to draw an almond curved line, curved line connect. Come inside and draw a little curved line on the left, little curved line on the right. And I'm just going to color in my circles once on the left, once on the right. Let me even those up. I come right here in the center and I draw a curved line. And 
right underneath that I draw a slightly curved line but the most important thing is draw a little straight lines going down there's my mustache okay let's see how we're going to color this in okay the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color this section of my goggles black because that's the lens part and then I'm going to use as many different colors of browns as I can so I'm going to make my goggles apricot I'll come down and make the actual helmet a different brown same thing with these little sections I can come in with my darker brown to do the little triangles these are the things that they're electronically connected to come down do my bomber jacket another brown do my tie gray make sure I get my brass buttons or my buttons yellow do my bomber jacket another kind of uh, light brown don't forget to do my flaps on my helmet flying helmet and then with my brown crayon this is his neck make sure you do his neck brown and all of his facial features brown all the way don't forget his eyelid, uh, eyelids and then as a final touch of color I'm going to take my blue marker and I'm going to draw straight lines going down in the background just to add a pop of color jump over keep going all the way across there is my Tuskegee airman true American heroes okay let's see what it looks like all colored in here's my Tuskegee airman all colored in ready to climb aboard a combat plane in World War II another example of a true American hero okay bye bye